front is where it says hippopotamus. Oh, okay. There. I've been told by some medical people that I'm healthy as can be, save the Parkinson's problem. Yeah, his neurologist said it was postural instability and gait disorder. So it's Parkinson's plus. I really think that, uh, that I won't be here this time next year. Even though it was really Gary who loved the hippos, you know, it was me who bought the hippos for him. So yeah, it, it sort of became a, a cooperative hobby. Well, it started in 1971. I got a graduation gift from a friend in Dallas who gave me a hippo candle. Gary just fell in love with it. And I really had fun doing this for him. It was a painstaking project with all these different stitches. The second thing was I was doing cruel embroidery at the time, and I found a cruel hippo that I embroidered for him. And that just kind of, that did it, and it just took off. He just really thought hippos were cute and cuddly. In reality, they're really mean. <laughs> More often than not, the hippos that I have are expressing joy, happiness, friendliness, cuddliness. His are nice hippos, not mean hippos. That's right. We try not to promote the negative side. Oh, itches your head. She's got a hearing problem. I don't know whether anybody would ever want it. If any of our friends express an interest, then Elaine can deal with that. Otherwise, it's her problem. <laughs> Unless I go first, Anything. and then it's, it's back to you, kid. <laughs> well, all of my focus in, in the future is for her. I've got to make sure that I do what I can.